Safe air testers are designed to provide a quick and easy method to carry out accurate periodic testing of breathing air supplies. The European standard for breathing air quality is EN 12021, which should be referred to in conjunction with any overriding national standards. This training session features the F4001, which is designed specifically to test high-pressure charging systems up to 300 bar. The F4001 has a touchscreen display and is supplied in a hard weatherproof case with storage provision for a wide range of accessories and equipment. It is primarily designed to be used from within the case, however, the tester can also be removed and operated separately where space is at a premium. Testers are supplied with batteries packed separately. Please note that rechargeable batteries are not suitable for use with this instrument. These must be installed prior to use unless it is the intention to power the unit solely from a main supply. It is important to strictly observe polarity when fitting batteries and ensure that they are correctly located. If the tester is to be used adjacent to a power socket, the mains adapter may be used. Please note that the unit should be switched off prior to connection or disconnection of the main supply. The test is carried out using the Draeger impactor for oil and chemical reagent tubes for carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide and water. These are supplied in packs of 10 per type and the chemical reagent tubes show the degree of contaminant present as a color change to the crystals that they contain. The extent of this is read against the scale on the tube. If you have an F4001 ED, this instrument has a built-in electronic dew point, which will automatically record water content, and so you do not need to use a water tube. For the impactor, the degree of oil contamination is displayed on a screen. To carry out a test, first switch on the machine by pressing and holding the on button, which is on the right-hand side of the unit, for approximately three seconds. The display will show the model, then the serial number, date last calibrated, and whether it is within the recommended calibration period. Press the arrow key to progress to the main menu, where the current date and time will be displayed. To change the default settings, such as date, time, language and units of measure, enter the Configure Tester screen. To carry out a test, press the Begin Test button. The unit will then automatically calibrate the oxygen cell against the surrounding atmosphere. The unit therefore needs to be in a well-ventilated area. You now have the option of entering a description for the cylinder reference or test location. If you wish to use numbers, press the function button. Push the right arrow button when you're ready to proceed. The unit has three test programs available. High pressure systems up to and including 200 bar, high pressure cylinders above 200 bar, and high pressure charging compressors. All of the high-pressure tests require the use of the F3002 regulator, which has a DIN connector that can accept input pressures up to 300 bar. The F4001 and F4001ED can test for the presence of oil using the original oil chemical reagent tube or the new impactor. The impactor has the advantage of not containing any hazardous chemicals. It detects all mineral and synthetic oils and clearly determines oil concentration levels. This training video is based on using the impactor. Confirm that all settings are correct by pressing the right arrow key. If settings are not correct, press the left arrow key and repeat the previous procedures. Connect the high pressure regulator assembly to the cylinder to be tested, ensuring that the regulator has the correct type of connector for the cylinder. Connect the regulator hose coupling to both the regulator and the inlet of the tester. Open the cylinder valve and check that the cylinder is fully charged by reading the contents gauge on the regulator. A partially discharged cylinder can give an incorrect water result. The pressure displayed on the tester will be that of the regulated supply from the cylinder and must not exceed 10 bar. Please note that if the unit is overpressurized, it will automatically shut down and display an overpressure warning. It will then need to be returned to the manufacturer for checking and resetting. Carry out the odor test by briefly pressing the odor test button 
and smelling the air exhausted from the sintered outlet. If there is a serious odor problem, fail the sample at this point of the test. Initiating flows of seriously contaminated air through the tube ports could result in damage to the unit. If the odor test is satisfactory, press the key to continue. The unit will now commence a five minute purge sequence, during which time an airflow will be passed through all four ports. This clears contaminants from previous tests and ensures that a representative sample is being tested. Once the purge is finished, the Draeger tubes can be prepared for insertion. Remove both ends using the cutter provided. This ensures a clean cut is made and that glass fragments do not fall into the tube ports. The Draeger tube tip cutter has three cutting blades. Insert the tube into the hole and gently rotate. Then rotate the tube to the side to break the tip. The tube tip will be retained within the cutter for later disposal. As each tube is prepared, it should be inserted into the relevant gland with the arrow pointing away from the unit and tightened firmly. The impactor should be inserted into the oil port. Make sure the impactor has an intact protective seal. This seal must remain in place for the duration of the test. Once the tubes and impactor have been inserted, press the OK button to start the test. The duration will be displayed as a countdown together with airline temperature, ambient temperature, oxygen content and pressure. The status of the individual tests is indicated on the right hand side of the display. The spinning egg timers indicate tests are active and ticks tests are complete. The unit can be left until the test time has elapsed. Once the test is complete, the readings from the three tubes and impactor can be entered. Instructions on reading detector tubes and their safe disposal can be found in the documentation wallet. To enter the water reading for the F4001 version, press the H2O button and remove the corresponding tube from the test port. The water tube shows the amount of moisture present in the sample as a brownish stain on the yellow crystals. This is measured against the scale in milligrams per cubic meter. Key in the result. Press the arrow key to return to the Enter Tube Readings screen. For the F4001 ED, the water content has already been automatically recorded, so this button is not featured. A maximum carbon dioxide level of 500 ppm is permissible in breathing air. The expected background level is approximately 380 ppm. If the test sample contained carbon monoxide, a greyish stain will be present at the start of the white crystals on the CO tube. The extent of this must not be greater than 5 ppm for the UK and 15 ppm for the European standard EN 12021. You can choose whether to test a UK or European carbon monoxide test limits in the Configure Tester menu. Remove the impactor and peel off the protective seal. The impactor incorporates a series of three horizontal rows of nozzles. Any oil present in the air sample in an aerosol form and greater than a concentration level of 0.05 mg per cubic meter will be deposited on the display screen as a series of small dots. Each of the three rows has a different distance between nozzles and their spacing is calibrated to represent different concentration levels of oil 0.1, 0.5, 0.5, and 1.0 milligrams per cubic meter. When the dots on each row form into a continuous line, then it identifies that the concentration levels for that line have been exceeded. For this particular test, there are no dots present, so the oil concentration level is less than 0.05 milligrams per cubic meter. As the maximum permissible concentration level in breathing air is 0.5 milligrams per cubic meter, we know for this test it is a pass. The following pictures, however, are examples of tests where there has been oil present. The first picture shows dots present on each of the three rows, but as you can see, none of the three rows have joined into a continuous line, 
so we know the oil concentration level present is greater than 0.05 but less than 0.1 mg per cubic meter. This would therefore still be a pass on a breathing air test to EN12021. On this second picture, the bottom row of dots have formed into a continuous line, but the middle and top rows are still individual dots. Therefore, the concentration level for this test is greater than 0.1, but less than 0.5 mg per cubic meter. Again, this would still be a pass, but only just if it was a breathing air test to EN12021. On this third picture, both the bottom and middle row have formed into continuous lines. Therefore, the concentration is greater than 0.5, but less than 1.0 mg per cubic meter, and this would be a failure for a breathing air test. On this final picture, all three rows have formed continuous lines, and the concentration level is now in excess of 1.0 mg per cubic meter, and once again, a failure for a breathing air test. Once all readings have been entered, press the right arrow key. Once you proceed beyond this point, the results cannot be altered. Spent tubes should be placed in the container provided for disposal, in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions when convenient. The test complete screen automatically determines whether the test was a pass or fail and displays all the measurements recorded during the test. If the test was a fail, flashing asterisks would be indicating those criteria which did not meet the standard. The F4001 and F4001ED automatically determine, from the water content measured, whether the test was a pass or fail against the standard. They also calculate the atmospheric pressure dew point. This test result is automatically recorded in the instrument's memory, which can store up to 10 previous tests. To view these tests, return to the main menu and press the Review Tests button. Test results are stored according to the date and time they were completed. From this menu, previous tests can be viewed or deleted as required. To transfer test results from the Safeair tester to the PC software, return to the main menu and press the Export Tests button. Insert the memory stick provided with the unit into the USB slot and press Yes. Previous tests saved on the memory stick must be deleted before it can be used to export tests. Once the instrument has completed exporting the results to the memory stick, you can choose whether to delete the results from the Safe Air tester's memory. To disconnect the tester from the cylinder, firstly turn off the cylinder valve. Then depress the odor test button until all the air is exhausted. It is now safe to disconnect the connection hose and cylinder regulator. Before you can import the results, you must first install the software on your PC. A copy of the software is available on the memory stick provided with this instrument. Making sure you have connected your memory stick to your PC, start the software. And from the File drop-down menu, click on Import Test Results file and select the drive location for the memory stick. Multiple test results can be imported by left-clicking on the first and then holding the left shift key and clicking on the last record and then click Open. You will then be able to choose the location where you'd like test results to be stored. Individual test records can then be opened from the File drop-down menu by selecting Open a Test Results file. Once loaded, further information can be added about the test location, engineer and their address. The engineer and address details can also be saved as a default. When complete, you can save the test result file and, if required, print off a certificate. In the UK, Health and Safety Executive Guideline HSG 53 recommends test results should be retained for a minimum of five years.